Hi everybody, this is Mike McDonald. I'm here at the corporate office and I want to take just a few minutes of your time to share with you a little bit about our amazing water system. You know, if you're like me, you know water is absolutely critical. We also know that not all water is created equal, right? So we do the best we can to provide the best water for our family and our friends and also our pets. Let me just show you a couple of features about what makes our unit the most amazing water system on the planet. First off, water is so critical that without water we all die, right? Well, most people don't like water. Why? Because of the taste and the smell of water. Well, what if you could take out the nasty smell and the nasty taste without having to use bottled water, which is affecting what? The environment. So let me share with you a couple of points that I like to make why you should be drinking our water rather than bottled water and our tap water. First, let's look at this picture. When we're born, we're all born balanced with a perfect balance, what we call a pH system. Now, if you're familiar with how a swimming pool works, when the swimming pool gets just a little bit acidic, what happens? Algae begins to set in. Disease sets in. Not good. So what do we do? We raise the pH level up. Why? So disease cannot live. Well, our body is somewhat the same way. When we get acidic, we get what? We get sick. Not good. But let's live over here in a higher pH. Now, you can change your pH by the food you eat, but most of us just don't eat the right food. So what happens? We become acidic. Now, let's test a few things and kind of share with you how you can maybe make a lifestyle change simply by what? Changing the water that you're drinking. I've taken the liberty of going to the store and I purchased a variety of various water bottles, or water uh, in bottles, and we're going to kind of first off share with you a couple of things. One, let's talk about the acidicness of these. We have here is a chemical used to test the pH. As you put drops in the various water, just like in a swimming pool, you can see is it acidic or is it alkaline. So let's just start here and I'm sure you're going to recognize these bottles, so we're not going to pick on any particular company. We're just going to give it a couple of drops in each one of these, and we're going to compare it with the chart above. Okay. Now, I happen to be in Newport Beach, California, so I took the liberty to get some tap water from right here in Newport Beach. Now, the good news about Newport Beach is they do a pretty good job in their water system. But we also know that every city uses chemicals in their water, right? Now, you can Google your hometown and find out what chemicals they're actually putting in the water and what's in their water. Now, we're going to test the city water, and you're going to find the city water across the country, as a rule, does a pretty good job with the pH. But your question's got to be, how do they do it? What chemicals might they be putting in the water to get the pH up? Kind of like in a swimming pool, right? Not good. Now, let's kind of compare. As you look at the comparison here, look at the chart. Do you see any of them over here in the healthy zone? Not really. So that kind of makes me concerned about what I'm drinking here. So this is the amazing system I'm talking about. It comes in two colors, either black or white. Now we'll talk about the filtration, how it works. Let me kind of share with you what I'm talking about. As Mother Nature begins to rain on the mountaintops, it goes through the stones or crevices, all the various layers of soil, and when it comes out, guess what? It's purified, filtered, clean water, right? Well, she's been doing that for millions of years. So what we've done is we're mimicking Mother Nature. As the rain falls, in other words, you're adding water to the system, that's the rain, it goes through a very special disk that we have, it's proprietary. We have infused energy into this disk, so it literally restructures the water. Along with a lot of other things, it takes out all the bad. Here's the good news though, the energy that's in here resonates at the same frequency as the body. Nobody on the planet does that. And when you do our muscle test, it's off the chart exciting. But here's what happens. It slowly drips through the disc. Then it goes through this amazing cartridge that you can see here on the black unit or the white unit. 
There's layers of minerals in there that changes the, the water. In other words, we put minerals back in the water. We put calcium back in the water. Unlike these guys who use reverse osmosis, when you use reverse osmosis, what happens? Well, good news is it takes everything out. <laughs> Bad news is it takes everything out. So there's no life left in the water. Well, as our water flows through the system, we put the good back into the water. So we have the disc, we have the cartridge, plus we have what we call the booster kit. Now the booster kit does a couple of things. One, it helps to raise the pH up a little bit higher because there's some people out there want a pH somewhere between eight and a half to nine and a half. There's some people that want a pH between maybe nine and a half and 10 and a half. We can deliver that. You use the booster kit. It's an option. Comes with the unit, but it's an option. You don't have to use it. So backing up a minute, Mother Nature provides us with the best purified filtered water on the planet. Now here's proof. Here's all this city that you have. Now let's step around the corner here and let's pull some of the water out of our system. Got to taste it first. Love the water. Now, I dropped it. Now, let's test here. Now, first off, guys, where we want to go? Blue to purple, right? So watch this. That, ladies and gentlemen, is where you want to be when you're drinking your water. You want it slightly higher. Now, here's another example of what I'm talking about. How can I prove to you that our water, when you drink it, literally raises the pH? Good question. So, let's do this. Let's get some more water here. Now, most of us are slightly acidic due to the stress, due to the foods we choose, the choices that we make. So if you're drinking our water, how can we show you, because seeing is what? Believing that our water will help raise the pH. Well, watch this. Let's say that this is your body level today. Drink a little of our water, pH goes up. Drink a little bit of water, pH goes up. Drink a little bit of water, pH goes up. Seeing is believing. Drink a little water, pH goes up. Now here is a problem though. You see here some of the sodas, the Gatorades, oops, shouldn't talk, pick on them, the sports drinks. Here you see some of the sodas and sports drinks. They're so acidic, they're almost like battery acid. Not enough water here to change that because it's like a 50 to one ratio. So we can try, but it's so difficult for us to be able to change that. But, it's very easy for them to change us. Now this represents our body. Finally, we got it at a perfect balance, right? But then we end up taking one of those sodas or sports drinks, either us or one of our kids, and this just represents one cap full of soda. Look what happens to our body when we put the acidiness right back into our body. Now, if you buy into the concept that disease lives in an acidic body and it does not live in an alkaline body and you have the ability to make that choice, what choice are you going to make? Here's another amazing feature about our amazing water. It's an antioxidant water. Now what does that really mean? Well, we can show a test here of the what we call the ORP. Somewhat confusing, but here's the bottom line. When you cut an apple in half, Within a few minutes, the apple what? Turns brown. Why? Because the oxidation in the air. Now guys, when you go outside and you leave a tool outside and it begins to rain and it rusts, what is that? It's oxidation in the air. Not good. Well, our body is somewhat the same way. The acidic foods that we eat and drink, our body, you know, rusts on the inside out. Now you can go to Dr. Oz on this one on Google and he talks about antioxidants. The more antioxidants we put in the body, the better. Why? Because antioxidants fights the free radicals, which is a good thing. So when you test our water, and you can do this at home, our water is higher antioxidant than orange juice without all the sugar content. 
So now finally, for less than $300, you can make your own antioxidant water. Think about that one, that is really cool. So, one last thing I wanna share with you is how our water will help you and your fruits and vegetables be more organic. Now, depending on where you get your fruits and vegetables, we know they put, like for example, the tomatoes we have in the front. I love tomatoes. But you know, they put wax on them and they put pesticides on them to so-called protect us, right? Well, if you're using tap water, let me show you what happens with tap water. Remember, this is tap water from Newport Beach. Put a little bit of tap water right here. And we're gonna use the same thing they use to test swimming pools. Put a few drops of uh, what we call OTO, this test for chlorine, okay? Now we're gonna test that for chlorine because we know when you go to the sink and wash your tomatoes, you're washing them under chlorine. But is it stripping off the pesticides in the waxes? Well, let me show you what happens. I took the liberty before we started filming to put tap water here, and this is our amazing water from our system. And let me pour up, this has been sitting here for about 15 minutes. This is your tap water from home. And as you can see, it did strip a little bit of the pesticides and waxes off the tomatoes. But look what happens here. How much better our system will strip all the nasty off the tomatoes, the pesticides, the waxes and stuff. Now when you eat our tomatoes, our strawberries, our grapes, they're gonna taste like organic and it's gonna be amazing. You will love it. So, quick overview. Let's eliminate bottles on the planet because it, it is affecting the environment. Let's make our own alkaline, energized, antioxidant water. Let's introduce this around the country and around the world. Let's help save the planet. You know, 70% of illness could simply be eliminated by making better lifestyle choices. Why don't you make a choice today and help us take this word around the country and around the world. Thanks for allowing me to share this with you. God bless and take care.